Hey guys, Dylan Walsh here. I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of really common halftime shuffle variations. So you might also refer to this beat as the Purdy Shuffle, but whatever you want to call it, we're going to go over it right now and then talk about a couple of variations. Start by just repeating right, left, right between your hi-hat and your snare drum. Then we're going to add in the backbeat. This creates a tough coordination with your left hand. Try to make sure the difference between the accent and the non-accent is as big as it can be. Then just add the bass drums and you got the whole beat. So now that we've learned the main groove, I have three variations for us to learn. So the first variation is one that you hear Bernard Purdy himself do all the time. And he calls it adding a little bit of air to the hi-hats. I got some air in my hi-hat. But to do this, all you really need to do is play quarter notes on the hi-hat with your foot, with your foot, while you're playing that shuffle groove with your hand. And that'll kind of naturally open it up on the upbeats and give you that open hi-hat sound. Um, really, really cool effect. You can also hear this on a song by Led Zeppelin called Fool in the Rain. John Bonham was probably hip to the Bernard Purdy stuff and uh, wanted to add it into one of their tunes. That's a really popular song. So the second one is another variation that you might have heard Bernard Purdy do, but it's also really common among some modern players like Ash Sohn. And all you do for this one is add a diddle on that middle triplet on the snare drum, so like the ghost note. So it would be right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. So basically all we're doing is squeezing in another note there. The last variation is a beat you can hear on a track by Death Cab for Cutie called Grapevine Fires. The drummer on that track's name is Jason McGurr, and if you haven't checked him out, I would definitely recommend doing that. He has some really, really sick beats. Really simple stuff sometimes, but really, really interesting. And what he thought to do was to replace one of those notes with our hand on the hi-hat with your left foot on the hi-hat. So now the sticking turns into right, left, and then hi-hat foot. So right, left foot, right, left foot. And he kind of throws it in there sparingly, so he doesn't do it every time. And it creates this really, really interesting effect that kind of draws your ear in. So that's all three variations right there. Learn them each individually, and then try to see if you can combine them in your own playing and see what you can come up with. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.